Hello, my name is Jin. Welcome to this Jin's Tonic. Let's practice together. Breathe in and breathe out. Palms together, thumbs touch your heart. And then as you exhale, let's say three mantras. Breathe in. I am powerful. Breathe in. I am grateful. Breathe in. I am peaceful. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, let's start. So today we are going to use the wall. One block against the wall and the other block prepare next to you. And then your strap. Make a small loop for your foot. First, press down your left heel on your block and bend your right knee. Press down the floor, lift your hips up, place the other block under your sacrum. Not, not under your lower back. It should be uh, your sacrum. Okay, so pl pl place your right foot inside your loop and then slide down your hands over your head. So your backs of hands press down the floor. Shoulders are away from your ears and push your right foot up. Do not pull your strap with your arms. So slightly hold your strap with your hands and then push your right foot up, up toward the ceiling. Make sure your left foot really push away the wall and then press down your block with your left heel. So press your hips firmly on the second block under your hips and pull your belly down and then hug your ribcage. Your chin towards your chest so your back uh, of your neck is really lengthened. Good. Relax your shoulders. Shoulders are away from your ears. And then lengthen your outer arms, press down your hips, push your right ball of your foot all the way up and push the wall with your left foot. Breathe. So charge your both legs. Breathe in and breathe out. So your both legs really engaged here. So wall helps your left leg really straighten. And then you push your right foot up. So there's a tension around your uh, strap. Good. And then remove your right, uh, right foot and push your block toward the right a little bit and place your right heel and right foot on the wall. Place your left foot inside of your loop and then make sure you really, you could push the wall with your right whole foot, okay? Shoulders are relaxed. One more time, press down your block with your hips, sacrum, and then push your left ball of your foot up toward the ceiling. Drop your belly toward the spine and hug your ribcage, chest towards your chin, chin towards your chest. And then lengthen your outer arms, breathe. Try to straighten your both legs. So press the wall with your right foot, push your left foot all the way up. Breathe, engage your belly. Strong legs. Imagine you're standing on the floor. So the wall is the floor and then you stand on the floor. So you need to charge your right leg a lot. Push the wall and push your foot, left foot up. Breathe in and out. Engage your belly. Shoulders press down on the floor. And away from your ears, of course. Breathe in and breathe out. Both legs are really strong. Good. Strong legs one more time. Pull your belly in, chest up, and chin down. Breathe in and out. Good, and then breathe in slowly, release your left foot. Okay, so lift your hips up, remove your block. Let's twist here. So press the wall with your left foot, but you could use your blanket under your hip, okay? So here, you, uh, you straighten your left leg, but place your strap, so loop around your left ball of your foot, right? And bend your right knee, and then your right foot touch your left inner thigh. Blanket under your left buttock more and your strap outside of your left 
leg and bring your right arm back hold your strap with your right hand good and make sure really push the wall with your left foot lift your left arm up and then touch your right leg with your left hand so do not pull up your right leg up slightly touch your uh, right thigh with your left hand and then push the wall with your left foot but at the same time pull your strap with your right arm so bring your right shoulder back and down this time pull your right belly in turn toward the right or if you want to explore more you could bring your right foot on your left groin and your right hand catch your right big toe so you bind your uh grab your right toe with your right big toe with your right hand okay breathe in press down your hips lift your chest up push the wall exhale pull your right belly in turn your ribcage turn your chest toward the right relax your shoulders open your shoulders so your collarbone is broadened breathe in lengthen breathe out twist good let's switch so your right buttock uh, on your bl blanket and then place your right foot inside of the rope and push the wall and bend your left knee press down your left leg on the floor bring your left arm back and hold your strap good and then your right side of body lengthen and touch your left leg shoulders are relaxed and point your elbows forward and back and then press down your hips and push the wall with your right foot lift your chest up lengthen exhale pull your left belly in turn your ribcage turn your chest toward the left breathe in lengthen breathe out twist you could do bind here so grab your big toe and then twist press the wall a lot charge your right leg that makes your upper body lengthen and then your spine twisted it breathe in lift your chest up breathe out bring your left shoulder back turn toward the left good breathe good breathe in slowly back to the center remove your strap nice okay so let's use our chair this time but prepare two blankets or you, if you have bolster it will be perfect so place your chair any chair in your place on the mat kind of middle of your mat and then fold your blanket so i'm going to use two and place the middle of your seated uh, chair so stack two blankets so i'm gonna use a um, kind of a sticky uh, piece of mat for preventing my blanket kind of slide okay and then you're gonna uh, sit on your seated chair so i'm gonna place my right hip on my seated chair like this and then my right side of body rib cage and my waist on my blanket my right hand touch the floor and then my uh left foot my right foot on the floor and then bring your left arm up left leg up and then when i bring my left arm back my left leg forward so you really stretch your uh left side of body kind of diagonal stretch and bring your arm for your leg back 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 but press your uh, right foot a lot and then your right shoulder away from your ear and one more time your leg for right arm left arm back and then one more time left arm for left leg back so stretch your whole uh, left side of body Reach, 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 and then breathe in slowly come back okay and then this time bend your left knee place your left foot on your right inner thigh and kind of tree pose and push away your thigh with your left hand and open your left knee and then uh, hold your grab your big toe and one two three as you exhale push your left big toe, left big toe up of course your shoulders away from your ears and then do not pull your toe with your hand just push your big toe up okay but engage your belly a lot so let's switch so this time 
uh, uh, not switching. We are gonna go the other uh, pose. So this time my hip on my blanket. So you sit on your blanket, my, my kind of half way, and then my forearm on the floor, right? Let, look at this. And then I'm gonna bring my bottom leg top. So my bottom uh, foot top my uh, top leg foot bottom so cross your ankle and then I'm gonna bend my both elbows and hold my elbows or from and drop my head all the way down so my head on my right uh, up, right upper inner arm here and try to drop your feet a lot toward the floor so really stretch your left side of body one more time Okay, engage your belly, Good. relax your head, but drop your feet more and slowly breathe in, come back. Nice. And then let's switch. So this time, your left hip going to touch your seated chair and then your left uh, foot on the floor. Okay, so, so do not sit on your blanket. So sit on your seat of the chair, okay? So your blanket gonna be your left waist and then your left side of your rib cage, okay? Straighten your left leg, press down a uh, mat firmly and then press down your left hand on the floor. Good, shoulder away from your ear, lift your right leg up and then right arm up. So this time bring your right arm forward and then right leg, leg back and then right leg forward, right arm back. Really lengthen your right side of body, reach your fingertips and then your toes back and forward and but press your left foot firmly and press your left palm firmly. Strong arm and strong leg. One more time, arm back, leg forward and one more time, good and then come back. And touch your thigh with your right foot. Open your right knee. Good. Breathe. Good. Pull your belly in. Shoulders away from your ears. Nice. Good. And then this time, hold your big toe with your right hand. And exhale, push up. So really push your right big toe up, up, up. Strong both legs. Engage your belly. Your left arm strong. Left leg really pressed. Uh, left foot pre press down the floor. Look at the ceiling. Breathe. Good. Strong legs and shoulders away from your ears. And then breathe in. Slowly come back. Okay. This time, sit on your uh, blanket. And then this time, bend your elbow, press down your forearm, and cross your ankle. So you this time, your left foot up and then right foot bottom. Good. And drop your legs down, 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 and bend your elbows. Hold your uh, forearms, each uh, opposite elbows. Good. And drop your head. So your head this time resting on your inner left arm, and then drop your feet down toward the floor. Engage your belly. Lengthen your right side of body. Breathe. Breathe in and out. Charge your legs, engage your belly, drop your legs more down, down, down. So your hips and your, your feet in same height at least. Okay, so do not lift your feet up toward the ceiling. Good. Slowly breathe in, come back. Nicely done. Okay, so here we are going to do a uh, twisting. So place your chair against the wall and then you could uh prepare one blanket next pose so uh we are gonna stand and then twist so left foot on the mat and then right foot on seated the chair so your hips just your left hip over your left ankle okay breathe in lift your arms up and pull your belly in exhale turn toward the right and touch the wall with your uh, left hand and bring your right arm back and then open your arms wide make a fist with your right hand so your right palm facing up and make a fist shoulders are relaxed and push your right hip toward the wall but pull your right belly and turn your ribcage turn your chest toward the right good lift your chest up relax your shoulders and twist toward the right really strong left leg okay so not bend your left knee 
switch. So your right foot press down the mat and then left foot on seat of the chair. Breathe in, lengthen your spine, pull your belly in, turn toward the left. Touch the wall with your right hand and then open your left arm. Make a fist and strong left arm. Good. So shoulders are relaxed. Good. Pull your left belly in, turn your ribcage, turn your chest toward the left, but do not move your left hip back. Press your right foot firmly, right knee kept tighten, pull up towards your belly button, and then turn your ribcage, turn your chest toward the left. Strong left arm. Breathe in, lengthen, breathe out, twist a little bit more. Strong both legs. Good. And then breathe in, slowly come back. Nicely done. Okay, let's do forward bending. So step back and then lift your chest up, Turn your hip balls and push your hips back. Adjust your distance. Touch your top of your chair. So I cover top of my chair with my blanket. And then lengthen, lengthen. You could use your block if you need. But if you don't, you could just place your forearms on your uh, seated chair. But pull your belly in. Push your tailbone back and push your chest forward, shoulders away from your ears, strong legs, press your balls of your feet, kneecaps tight and pull up towards your belly button. And then you could slide down your hands all the way down along the legs of your chair and place your forehead on seated chair. But do not press down too much with your head, your weight on your uh, legs a lot. Push your hips back. So you could use your block for your forehead at this point, but do not bend your knees, do not round your back. You don't need to go really deep like this. Make sure your spine is lengthened. Pull your belly in one more time, strong legs. Good, breathe in, come up, and then touch your hips, lift your upper body up, beautifully done. Okay, prepare uh, two blocks on set of the chair, and then place your left foot uh, on your mat, okay? So spread your toes. Oh, this time I just pressed down my right foot, okay? So your left foot gonna touch the seat of the chair or uh, if you could, bring your foot all the way up so on your top of your chair, okay? If you uh, walk back with your right foot, it's gonna be deeper. If you walk forward, it's gonna be less uh, deeper, okay? So pull your belly in, breathe in, lift your arms up, exhale, forward bending. At this point, you might need blocks, okay? So touch the wall with your uh, blocks, and then walk your blocks up, 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 or walk your hands up, 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 but strong legs. Press down your right foot firmly, push the wall with your left foot. Do not bend your knees. If you need, you could bend your left knee a little bit, but do not press down your knees down toward the chair with your left knee. So really protect your knee. Kneecaps tighten and pull up towards your belly button. Walk your hands up, 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 but shoulders are away from your ears. Engage your belly, push your hips back, push your chest forward slowly and slide down your hands toward the top of your chair. But pull your belly and push your chest forward, lengthen your spine, keep lengthened. And then some of you might touch the block, but still lengthen your spine, strong legs, or some of you might touch your seat of the chair. Good. And then touch your uh, head on your shin. Good. You don't need to, but shoulders away from your ears, really lengthen your spine. Good. And this time bring your right arm up and then touch the wall with your right hand only. Touch your left hip with your left hand. We are gonna twist toward the left, but do not move your hips. Pull your left belly in, turn your ribcage, turn your chest toward the left. Left shoulder back, left elbow back. But try to walk your right hand up, up, up toward the ceiling, but right shoulder away from your ear. Lengthen your right side of body. Good, nicely done. Okay, so we are gonna switch. This time, press down your uh, left foot on your mat, and then your right foot on your seat of the chair or your, you could bring all the way up. Nice, good. And really firm your hips, press down your left foot, press the wall a lot with your right foot. Breathe in, lift your arms up 
and then lengthen, lengthen, exhale, touch the wall with your blocks or your hands. Shoulders pull away from your ears, pull your belly in, chest forward, lengthen your upper body, but press your left foot firmly, push away the wall with your right foot, even hips, breathe. Strong legs. Breathe in and out. Lengthen your back of your neck too. Walk your hands up more. Good. If we are ready, we are going to slide down our hands. So it's deep forward bending. Good. Down, down, down. You might touch the block, blocks or sit at a chair. Good. Pull your belly in. Push your chest forward. Good. Lengthen your spine, but strong legs. Do not bend your knee, but do not press down your right knee toward the floor. Protect your knee. Good. One more time. Push your hips back. Push your chest forward. Lengthen your spine. Strong legs. Come up. And this time, touch your right hip with your right hand and touch the wall with your left hand. Good. Twist toward the right. Pull your right belly in, turn your ribcage, turn your chest toward the right, right shoulder back, right elbow back. But really lengthen your left side of the body, walk your left hand up, 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 shoulders away from your ears. Do not bring your right hip too much back, so even hips, and press the wall with your right foot, but press down your left foot. Nicely done, beautiful. Okay, one more forward bending. Walk back and then open your face shoulder width apart and touch your seated chair. Push your hips back and then you immediately slide down your hands and then this time walk your feet back, back, back. Let's do downward facing dog, okay? So press down your feet firmly, pull your belly in, press down the mat with your palms a lot, wrap your upper arms and pull your lower belly in. Hips up, 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 back, 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 thighs back. Push your chest forward, strong arms and strong legs. Breathe in and out. Lengthen your back of your neck, breathe. Shoulder blades open wide and then pull toward the rib cage. Good. Walk back with your hands and one more time forward bending. Push your chest forward and then breathe in, upper body up. Nicely done. One more time, we're going to use our chair. But this time, you're going to standing facing toward the right. So kind of side way. So look at me. I'm going to place my um, right foot on the mat and then left foot on top of a chair. But you're going to open your hips toward the right like th this. And so your right foot facing toward the right all the way. And then your left heel catch your top of your chair. Or you might stack your blocks and then you can place your left foot on your block. Breathe in, bring your arms up. And then touch your hip with your right hand and touch your wall with your left hand or block. Good. In this case also, if your right foot behind your right hip so really walk away from the wall it's gonna be deeper okay so press the wall with your left foot press the wall with your left hand lengthen your whole left side of body bring your left thigh bone back towards your back leg your tailbone back towards your back leg too turn your ribcage turn your chest toward the ceiling breathe and then you are going to place your right, uh, left hand, slide down, so touch your top of your chair. You can bend your elbow and touch the block or touch your left ankle. But this time, bring your left thumb up and then touch the wall. So you kind of you're switch your hands. Good. So really reach your right arm up and touch the wall or your fingertips or you might use block right? It's too much for you. Press down your right foot firmly on, on your mat. We could open more if you want to go deeper. Pull your right belly and turn toward the right, but push the wall with your left foot. Shoulders away from your ears. Lengthen your arms. Breathe. Engage your belly. Hug your rib cage. Turn toward the right. Nicely done. Okay, bend your left knee and push away the wall. You could walk your right foot toward the chair and then come down. Nice. Okay, switch the other side. So your left foot on your mat, right foot on your seated chair or like this, stack your blocks like this way. 
just one block if you are uh, it's too hard for you you can choose or two blocks or top of your chair okay so if you walk your left foot away from your chair it's gonna go it's gonna be deeper okay so I'm gonna bring my right heel on top of my chair so that's why you need blanket because you're protect your right heel Good. left toes pointing exactly forward bring your arms up pull your belly in. exhale touch your left hip with your left hand and reach your right arm up and toward the wall bring your right thigh bone back towards your left foot and your tailbone toward the left foot too and walk your right hand up 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 or use your block and switch your hand touch your uh, wall with your left hand slide down your right hand touch your foot or ankle or top of your chair or some of you touch your seat of the chair or use your block. Go pull your left belly in, turn your ribcage, turn your chest toward the ceiling. Lengthen your right side of body. Shoulders are relaxed, shoulder blades towards your ribcage. Breathe in, engage your belly, exhale, turn toward the ceiling. Press your left foot firmly on your mat. Push the wall with your right foot, strong legs, and then twist. Breathe in and out. Your right arm kind of push away your right leg, but do not really uh, push away. The action is kind of resistance. Bend your right knee, walk your left a little bit toward the chair, and then down. Beautifully done. Okay, so place your one block against the wall, like flat uh, setting, and then open your legs wide, and open your right foot toward the right, and press your block with your left outside of your foot. Bend your right knee. You're gonna do warrior two. So touch the wall with your left fingertips and sink down. Really push away your block with your left foot and warrior two. And right away, you're gonna use your, the other block inside of your right foot and then side angle. Press the block really with your left foot and bring your uh, a tailbone toward the wall and reach your left arm over your head and then you could explore you could do bind so hold your both hands together so your left shoulder really back and down and you could look at the ceiling or look forward because strong legs breathe in and out it's challenging so you don't need to do it but make your legs strong and then engage your belly one more time back to warrior two. So press the block with your left foot and then release. Okay, switch our side. So this time press the block with your right outside of your foot. Turn your left toes toward the left. Open your arms wide. Touch your wall with your right fingertips. Good. Bend your left knee. Sink down more and more. So your uh, hips slightly toward the left but your chest facing forward. Good. Strong legs. Press your back heel a lot. Bend your left knee, warrior two, and then prepare your the other block and sink down a little bit more. Pull your right belly in, twist toward the ceiling, and bring your right arm over your head. Strong legs, especially your right leg really engaged. And lengthen your left side of body too. Pull your left thigh bone back. Good. And then you could bind, explore, and bring your right shoulder back and down. Open your heart and then twist. Pull your right belly and strong legs. Push the block with your right foot a lot. Turn a little bit more toward the ceiling. Strong legs. Or you could stay just side angle. And then pull your belly back to warrior two. Good. Strong arms and strong legs. And then engage your belly. Come back. Beautifully done. Last forward bending. Step away from the wall and open your feet hip, hip width apart. And we are going to do right angle. So touch the wall. So your hands and your hips and your shoulders same line, same height. Okay. Lengthen your back of your neck. Do not drop your ribcage. Do not drop your belly. Pull in your lower belly and push your tailbone back and up. Your legs are really strong. Press your balls of your feet. Kneecaps tighten pull up towards your belly button thighs back hips back chest forward beautifully done okay so let's explore so birds of paradise so stand with your right foot bend your left knee touch the wall 
Good. We practice, we kind of prepare for this pose. So bind. If you cannot, use your strap. And then slow by slow, walk your left foot up, up, up toward the ceiling. And engage your belly, charge your leg. You can touch the wall, but a little bit away. You can use their momentum. But balance and open your shoulders, pull your belly in and explore like this. And then let's switch our side and then I'm gonna show uh, how to use a strap for binding. Left foot on your mat, a little bit close toward the uh, wall, not too close, and bend your right knee and touch the wall. Your right arm under your right leg and then bring your left arm back and hold your strap, right? Or you could hold your hand. Good, pull your belly in, lift your chest up, shoulders back, good. And then walk your right foot up, 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 more and more. Charge your both legs and pull your belly in. You can lift your right foot away from the wall. Engage your belly, balance, or if it's hard, touch the wall. And then slide your right foot up, up, up. Explore, touch, or away, touch, away. And charge your legs, nice. And then release. Beautifully done. Okay, we are going to lie down. Let's use our chair last pose. We are going to use our uh, strap. So prepare a uh, blanket. So cover one blanket uh, for your chair and then the other blanket for your hips, sacrum. And prepare your strap. So I make really big loop like this, right? And then lie down. Straighten your left leg. Place your right foot inside of your loop and lift your head up and your, the other part of your strap just above your ears. Do not bring your uh, strap around your neck, no. Just above your ears, okay? So you need to really bring your chin down. If you need, instead of covering uh, your seated chair with the blanket, you use the bla blanket for your head. So you could bring your chin down towards your chest more. Good. So your hip, right hip, under your right foot. So do not bring your right foot towards your face. That means you need to uh, make your loop bigger, okay? So push your strap with your right ball of your foot. That makes tension around your strap. Push your left foot forward. Look at my left foot. I flex my left foot, push my left ball of my foot toward the uh, wall. Press down your hips a lot, pull your belly in. Shoulders are relaxed, I'm here, holding my opposite elbows. You could just place down next to your hips or on your belly, you could choose, but engage your belly, good. And then when you switch, bring your left foot up and then your left foot meet your right foot and drop your right foot, it's easy way. So press down your uh, chair with your right heel or right ankle, push your right foot forward, charge your both legs, push your left ball of your foot up, up, up toward the ceiling, but your hips really press down your blanket, lengthen your tummy, engage your belly. Lift your chest up, but chin towards your chest. Breathe, lengthen your back of your neck, shoulders are relaxed. Strong legs, breathe in and out. Charge your both legs, so do not lose your right leg. Charge, push forward. Good, breathe in and out. Good, when you're ready, release, lift your head up, remove your strap. This time, move your hips toward the chair more, and then soles of feet touch together, knees apart, drop your hips, really press down your hips on your blanket, open your knees wide. So butterfly, legs. And one more time, you could hold your elbows, opposite elbows, or you could touch your belly with your hands. Good, lengthen your tummy, soften your tummy, press your soles of feet touch together. So knees are open wide. Breathe in and out, relax your whole body. This is gonna be your kind of shavasana. If you don't have time to do separately, just breathe in and relax your whole body. 
but I want you to push your feet against each other. That makes your knees open wide. And then you could choose um, just right away. You could play my um, body scan video and then do shibasana. Okay, sit tall, your palms together, thumbs touch your heart, lift your chest up, exhale, chin down, bow. Let's do, let's say three mantras. Breathe in, exhale, I am powerful. Breathe in, I am grateful. Lastly, breathe in. I am peaceful. Breathe. I hope you found your own inner peace after this practice. Breathe in and out. You did such a great job. Okay, release your hands. See you next time. Bye.